Hi everyone, this is Knowledge Topper and in this particular video we try to briefly discuss and understand the topic that is related to psychology and uh, that is somatoform disorders that what are somatoform disorders uh, uh, what are the causes related to uh, somatoform disorders uh, uh, what are the symptoms related to somatoform disorders as well as uh, uh, the prescribed treatment for somatoform disorders we will discuss all of them uh, in this video uh, but before moving towards uh, our video if you didn't subscribe my channel knowledge shopper yet please do subscribe my channel knowledge shopper as well as like our facebook page and do join our facebook group as well you will find a lot of good material related to these topics as well as from other courses as well so now let's get Get into this video um, as written on your screen a somatoform disorder is said to exist when physical symptoms occur repeatedly in human body it persists over a long period of time and uh, when no adequate uh, explanatory organic findings can be made despite of the detailed uh, uh, diagnostic test now uh, like you can say that uh, a somatoform disorder causes physical symptoms even though there is no clear organic cause can be found uh, many suffers many people suffers uh, told that there is nothing wrong with them they feel misunderstood and go from one doctor to another the result is uh, desperation and hopelessness and also often depression as well uh, like uh, you can say that uh, there can also be misunderstanding between the doctor and the patient the patient has the impression that the doctor does not want to help them and uh, similarly the doctor thinks that the patient does not want to be helped uh, the fact is that patients with such disorders suffer greatly and they really do have something wrong with them now talking about uh, the subgroups of uh, somatoform disorders the first uh, subgroup is uh, somatization uh, disorder like um, in this type of uh, disorder um, simultaneous manifestation of uh, uh, symptoms uh, present in different parts of human body like for example uh, there is pain in multiple body parts there is gastrointestinal problems menstruation problems uh, like dizziness is also there a feeling of blockage in the throat uh, muscle weakness so these all are the uh, symptoms related to uh, somatization disorder uh, and according to the ICD-10 system the duration of uh, this disorder is specified uh, uh, as for two years okay now talking about the second subgroup which is undifferentiated somatoform disorder uh, in this disorder it is characterized by one or more physical symptoms that last for at least six months and uh, which produce significant limitation in various aspects of life uh, talking about our third subgroup of somatoform disorder which is persistent somatoform pain disorder uh, in this case uh, chronic pain lasting at least for six months which is typical uh, like uh, the, the origin of which uh, is not clear though uh, excessive focus on the pain and significant level of uh, suffering are also some of the characteristic of uh, this uh, somatoform disorder uh, talking about our fourth uh, uh, subgroup uh, which is hypochondriac or hypochondriac disorder I already made a detailed video related to hypochondriac or you can say hypochondriasis uh, disorder if you want to watch that uh, you can watch it by clicking the link in the description of this video uh, in this uh, disorder like uh, uh, this disorder is less about physical symptoms but it is more about uh, uh, a persistent anxiety or belief that the patient has a serious particular illness so these all are the four uh, subgroups of somatoform disorder now talking about uh, some causes related to somatoform disorders uh, though the exact cause of somatic symptoms disorder isn't clear but uh, any of these factors may play uh, a role like there is genetic and biological factors such as uh, an increased sensitivity to pain uh, talking about uh, the second cause which is family in influence like which may be genetic or environmental or uh, sometimes uh, both uh, like uh, the third cause is a personality trait of uh, negativity like uh, which can impact how you identify and perceive uh, illness and uh, bodily symptoms uh, the fourth cause uh, may be uh, li like uh, related to 
decrease awareness of uh, or problems processing emotions like uh, uh, causing physical symptoms to become uh, the focus rather than the emotional issues so these all are the causes related to somatoform disorders now talking about some symptoms related to somatoform disorders like there is uh, poor health uh, problems functioning in daily life including f uh, physical disability problems with relationships problems at work or unemployment uh, uh, other mental health disorders such as anxiety depression and personality disorders uh, this is the main uh, symptoms related to uh, somatoform disorders and it is found uh, most often uh, in patients related to uh, somatoform disorders increased suicide risk related to depression uh, financial problem due to excessive health care visits so these all are the symptoms related to somatoform uh, disorders and these all are the complications as well talking about uh, the treatment somatoform disorders treatment uh, like um, uh, the main thing is uh, like uh, a diagnosis of somatoform disorder and it is the first step towards the treatment of somatoform disorders uh, this begins with a careful documentation uh, of uh, uh, past medical history of a particular patient um, like um, many doctors related to uh, these kinds of uh, disorders uh, take another look at all of uh, the previous results related to the health uh, condition of a particular patient like uh, if there are any uncertainties or if there are any specific investigations that are required or needed uh, these will be organized in close consultation with a particular patient uh, the second and most important uh, treatment related to somatoform disorder is uh, learning like uh, you learn to recognize uh, when you are stressed being a patient uh, uh, of somatoform disorder uh, like uh, uh, you must understand and learn and recognize uh, like uh, when you are stressed and how uh, this affects your body and uh, most importantly uh, you have to be regular like uh, regularly practice stress management and relaxation techniques uh, in order to help prevent uh, uh, worsening of symptoms as well as uh, it helps you to make yourself relax make your body relax as well as your mind most importantly so this is the video for all of you guys hope you understand about somatoform disorders that what are somatoform disorders uh, if you like this video thumbs up do subscribe our channel knowledge shopper as well as like our facebook page and do join our facebook group as well you'll find a lot of good material related to these topics as well as from other courses so this is the video for all of you guys thank you so much everyone uh, it's time to say bye bye